and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to discuss the best Bluehost plan for beginners. And if you're new to web hosting or starting your first website, Bluehost is a very popular choice. But you may be wondering which plan is right for you. So in this video, we're going to break it down and help you choose the perfect plan to kickstart your online journey. So let's dive in. First of all, Bluehost is up here on the screen. As you can see, it's got a massive discount. It almost always has a massive discount. So any of these hosting plans are going to be good. All of these hosting plans are going to come with a free domain, um, a free security certificate, a free CDN, a money back guarantee. And as you can see, you can get started for as low as $2.95 per month, which, by the way, is where I started my biggest website. I have a portfolio of websites. I started my biggest website that I have right now on this very cheap plan. I also have my newest website that I've created that's brand new, a couple months old, old also on this same plan. So what's the best Bluehost plan for beginners? I say it's shared hosting, and I want to show you why. First of all, there's a couple different shared hosting plans. There's the basic plan. That's the one I recommend you start with. Um, for most people, it's a basic plan. It's the cheapest. It's the one I've started with. I've had no problem with it. But you can also get the Choice Plus, uh, do an online store. You can do the pro version. It really depends on what kind of website you run, what kind of functionality you need, how much storage you need, all of these very technical things. And I'm not a very technical guy. So I like to start with this basic plan. Again, it's the cheapest. It starts at $2.95 per month. And then after that, it'll go to $10.99, which is still pretty good. Um, you get 10 gigabytes of storage, which is going to be plenty for most websites starting out, especially if you're like a beginner blogger and you do mostly text um, content with a few images and videos thrown in. You're going to get uh, manage one website. If you have more than one website, you're going to want to jump over here to Choice Plus. Again, that's just $5.45 per month um, to start out with, and then it'll go to $19.99 after that. But most people that I know only start with one website, which again is what I did. It's what I still do with Bluehost, and that makes this basic shared plan the best. So you're gonna be able to manage one website just fine. You get a free domain the first year. You don't have to get your domain name from Bluehost, but you can get a free one from them for the first year if you want. Um, you can customize your WordPress themes. There's easy integration integration with WordPress. That's what I recommend that you do. You start with the basic Bluehost plan at this cheap price. Um, you take advantage of as many of these freebies as you want. You go with WordPress. It's sort of a one-click create your WordPress site. And then, of course, you got to customize it with themes. I like the free after theme. It's fast. It's simple. And you can get started very quickly. Recap. The best plan for bloggers who are beginning to start a website is the basic plan. It's perfect. It provides you all the essentials to get started. If you want to create an online portfolio, the basic plan, again, is probably your ideal choice. It gives you enough storage, seamless WordPress integration. Now, if you're a small business owner or you have an online store, you might want to go with the Choice Plan, the Choice Plus Plan, or the online store plan. Um, that's going to help you manage a professional online presence. If you're creating a membership or community site, the, the Choice Plus is probably the smallest that I would go with just because it's going to get you started. But you're probably going to need a little bit more storage with all the user generated content that you have. Really all there is today's video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe to our channel for more web hosting tips and tricks and other videos about writing. I would really appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.